Blackbeard will be the Pirate King. Now, allow me to explain. First of all, how would Blackbeard get to Rathel? Because he would need to get in Christians of the road part of it from the other Yokos and Zo and all these places and then have somebody that was able to read it. Well, that is actually not true because of what Rayleigh said during Shaboti. Rayleigh said that Roger could hear the voice of all things and that allowed him to read the part of it. Now, I still believe Roger was the one to read them, using the ability to hear the voice of all things. It could have been Odin, but I still believe it was Roger. Now, I personally believe that Blackbeard had the ability to hear the voice of all things. So even though he doesn't have the co-robbing in his possession, and he couldn't make her read the portal list, which she wouldn't do anyway, I mean, why she help Blackbeard become the Pirate King? But the point is, is that since he doesn't have Robin, he could use the voice of all things to get the information off of the portal list, give it to his navigator, and they could create a map. That is right, they would create a map, and then they would go to Rattel. And now, this sets it up. The perfect final showdown between Luffy's final villain as a pirate. I do believe the government will be the final villain, but Luffy's final pirate villain. The man who turned his brother into the Marines to get him killed. Blackbeard. So now it is the Straw Hat Pirate versus the Blackbeard Pirate on the shore of Rattel. Now, as to what would happen, how this would play out is, is that Blackbeard would arrive on Rathel, and maybe like 10, 20 minutes after he lands, the Straw Hats arrive. Lurbeard and Luffy's like, oh hell no. And the two crews face off, like, you know, face off and they enter combat. That would be so cool, right? And it's very likely, because you really think about it, Blackbeard is, had been antagonizing Luffy. And just fucking things up for Luffy. Throughout the entire series. Ever since day one, he's been messing things up. He's the reason everything happened. You, when you really think about it, Blackbeard is the reason for every bad thing that happened to Luffy that the series started, pretty much. Because the only bad thing that really happened to him was a die. Blackbeard got a captured, which therefore caused Luffy to have to go through Impel Down. And lose his Mr. Two. And Mr. Two is alive, but Luffy doesn't know that now, does he? As far as Luffy knows, he is dead. So Luffy lost a friend, as far as he knows. Uh, he nearly died, like two times. He actually died and then came back to life, technically, the an organ were rearranged. But that's besides the point. But Blackbeard had put Luffy through a lot of shit. And but in fact, if Blackbeard had to turn to his end, Akainu Ape would, would have never fought, and that Ape would be alive. Now, why does it matter? Because this just adds on to the fact that Blackbeard will be doing something else. I do believe, at this point in time, Blackbeard will, will have already killed Shank. So think about it, Blackbeard will have kill, been responsible for Ape's death, and killed Shank, and now Blackbeard will be trying to stop him from achieving his dream. This is like the perfect setup. For a final battle. Like this guy had antagonized the main character to an extent where it is just impossible to pass up. It's perfect. The perfect final battle. The title for the Pirate King. Now of course in the end Luffy would win this battle. But technically this would make Luffy the third Pirate King. Think about it. But there's a ride on Rattel before Luffy. He could claim the One Piece as his. And then Luffy could defeat Blackbeard along with the Straw Hats and they would defeat the Blackbeard Pirate. Then, by, therefore, by defeating Blackbeard, he would take his place as the strongest being on the planet because, you know, the Pirate King is obviously the most powerful being on the state. Because power equals freedom and all that shit. But, yeah, Luffy would then be the most powerful man in the world, be the freest, he would be the Pirate King, but he would be the third Pirate King not the second. I thought this could be great. I thought this could be a great story, a great way to handle it. But this is just my theory. Yeah, this is like a theory of mine, an idea I had that I wanted to talk out there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, above all else, guys, to have a great day. Tell me your thoughts on this discussion in the comment section down below.